So this is an illumination from nothing about of of what is and isn't of energy nothing being everything energy as it is boundless and unknowable as it appears to be and that that sense of feeling that there's something out there and something in here that there's life and there's me with my life is artificial it's a story It's an agitation, a sense that there's something not quite right. There's something missing. So the person tries to fill this this hole, this void with many, many different endeavors and things and experiences and states and objects and everything. Feeding, trying to address this sense of yearning. Uh, most are not aware that they're doing it it's underneath all states all ways of being once there's a sense of being a person a separate person there's a yearning and what's been shared is that yearning is not for getting something it's not that there's something missing that you need to get it's not that there's something that you need to know it's not that there's something that you need to understand it's not that there's somewhere that you need to arrive at it's that there's simply already boundless unconditional love energy that's all there is and so what you have yearned for as a person paradoxically has been simply already just whatever has appeared to happen never left you wind blowing sitting in a seat a thought a hand moving a smile a frown there's nothing that isn't already it although it's not an it so this is what's shared um, and it resonates as it resonates there's no right or wrong with this you can't go right or wrong with this <clears throat> you can't say something you can't ask a wrong question with this you can't say something silly uh, that's sh that's too obvious or none of that if there's something there that's uh, regarding what's being shared here then it's there to be shared um, but there's nothing being asked of anyone obviously because the remarkable thing is now that there's nobody here there's nobody attending a zoom meeting only in the story on in the appearance so we'll see what see what apparently happens in the next hour or so Hi, Kenneth. Hi. Can you, can you say, if, if, if I listen to your words, say, then it's a kind of, I hear it in an other level. Mm. Can you say that? I, I, yeah, you can, in a sense of the, the words are just kind of an excuse for something to resonate. So it's not, it's not you that hears it at another level, though. It's nothing to yeah, do yeah, with yeah. you, actually. But when yeah. it's shared, this when it's a clear uncompromising boundless communication there's a resonance with it when there's an openness to it there's a resonance yeah. with it and that resonance is beyond words beyond knowing and beyond understanding yeah it's almost a cellular resonance with what you already are 
it's completely known already because what you already are is simply nothing being everything but yeah. overlaying that then is this um this individual that we take to be absolutely real yeah so all the apparent things are mind are which there are apparent things are which sorry all the apparent thinking experiencing is mind um it's i wouldn't say it's just mind mind there's no boundary mind body there is no boundary mind is a function um so every everything is just energy because energy is everything being nothing so that energy then is thinking uh, emotions yeah, yeah. trees yeah computers headphones sensations smells everything is just simply energy the the, yeah. the where where it gets complicated apparently is when they're my things are there i relate to them and so it all comes back to this contracted sense that i'm a real person and i am looking at and engaging with something else so everything is objectified that's the whole subject object reality you hear spoken about like some people initially that can sound quite complicated or something but it's not at all it's very simple subject object is you the subject is that the individual and once you feel like an individual thoughts aren't just a thought arising it's my thought it's a feeling of whatever it doesn't matter that's my feeling uh, and it's me looking at that tree and it's it's my computer and you know so on so on so on and therein lies the apparent problem but the person doesn't ever it doesn't never thinks or questions that this sense of themselves might be artificial really uh, or if they do it's very kind of fleeting um because in the dream that we take to be reality um it's continually fed and confirmed that you are a person who has choice and has a life and blah 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 yeah so yeah. that's that's how it is um and then this illumination can come along boom <laughs> yeah. and it's just heard that it's heard. it doesn't have an agenda because there's already nobody so then if someone goes, oh, this is a load of bullshit. Well, OK, then that's a load of bullshit then. And then some someone else just boom, boom, just, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's so obvious. Yeah. It's too obvious. That's the problem. It's too obvious what's you're in for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that like back to what you said there, the, the, the sense of kind of. Uh, you know the things like uh, the the coming from the mind or they're just they're objectified like so it's a thought is is my thought it's an object then and, and that's where all the complication comes in and the sense of um things aren't actually seen as they actually are yeah then comes the stories what, then the, then the stories like you are the story you know you are yeah. the story um like so all the stories come back to a sense of you like in the same with the dualism, you know, this falls people say non duality and this is dualistic and that you are dualism, really. That is the dualism of me and the world, Do you know. And when that dualism apparently collapses, everything is just nothing and nothing is everything. It's totally unknowable. Yeah. Um, but it's all a story then. Obvi it's obviously just a story then. So what I took to be me who had a life, had a job, had a wife or whatever has this has that da, da, da. it just it's completely empty you don't have anything you never did anything you are just uh, you are nothing being everything in what appears to happen yeah. and that's the boundless unknowable freedom that you can never have that's why it's so it's so frustrating for the person it's completely unattainable mm. it's totally and utterly unattainable to you because you are only artificial anyway yeah but I, I have I have sort of feeling I it's it's uh, it's understand halfway so oh, yeah, I don't yeah. feel the person so much it's it's yeah. not so but what I also hear from you is you can't have it halfway it's it's this or it's not it's no I wouldn't uh, what what I'm saying a suggestion is there's just what's appearing to happen and that's unknowable. Um, so understanding it halfway is what appears to happen but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is no full understanding 
But I, it's it it appears like that when there's someone who's when a character uh, speaks clearly, it appears it appears as though that person has a full understanding and it's coming from them. I have a half understanding and I want to get to where they are. And that's yeah. totally logical. And it's not actually the clearer the message the le- is that it doesn't come from a person who understands anything. That's yeah, yeah. the amazing thing. If it's a really clear uncompromising boundless message it's actually from completely from unknowing yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't come from any sense of anyone who knows anything yeah, and yeah. it's it's com- understanding is irrelevant completely irrelevant because mm. if it's unknowable why would understanding be any way relevant there's mm. people who understand non-duality inside out and upside down every yeah. single inch of it they understand it completely they understand yeah. the difference between a clear communication a, a, a not clear a compromised communication that speaks to someone the, all the language every single p- word they have all of it and it doesn't make any difference whatsoever because they understand something yeah. Yeah. you know it's very yeah. simple like it's very yeah. it's it's too simple that's the difficulty that's for the person it's just too simple all the time it's just yeah. Uh, sitting on a chair speaking yeah. uh, it can't be just this for the person there's a, a continual rejection of it. it just has to be more has to be something else yeah around makes the me, next makes me, makes me happy when you say these things that it's not understandable it's so yeah. nice to hear that yeah 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 and for some it's lovely yeah. to hear that and for some it's like that's the worst thing that they could be said because they they very much have a sense of knowing and they feel this is knowable and to hear that is just dreadful to them but it can be for some it's like yeah it's it's not on, like there can be a huge relief in that yeah uh, of this kind of neurotic drive to get something <laughs> and know it can just kind of just whew, okay yeah. there's there's nothing to get there's no where to get there's no where yeah. to get there's no state that's any way relevant ah. states just appear to happen uh, experience whatever experiences they just appear to happen yeah, yeah. nothing needs to be held on to because nothing can be held on to because all there is already is nothing mean everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thank you Hi Lee. Your your hand got tired, so you put it down and put it back up again. Because <laughs> I, I was thinking, did I imagine that someone had their hand up there and then they're gone? I had to, I had to go and sort something out, so I didn't want to get. Cold oh, okay, in, yeah, I have you. Not, not be here. <laughs> you didn't want yeah. to not be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a car. I get that one a lot. It's good. So. I, I, there's a, just something in the spirit of you said there's no wrong communication you can just speak openly oh yeah completely like there's nothing you, like it doesn't matter with this it's it, you know the only thing when i say that obviously if someone comes into me and starts talking about tiddlywinks or whatever i go well, thank you <laughs> bye you know what i mean but i yeah. don't feel i have to clarify that at the beginning of every meeting but uh, you you know the gist of what I'm saying. Like someone says, like for the common one, for instance, just to give you an example, is someone says, "Is there? A, but is there anything I can do?" And some people laugh and say, "God, did you not hear what I said? Are you do you get frustrated with that? How could I get frustrated with that when that's the first thing that that's the first time that's ever happened? Because everything right. is new, and if if it's a, it's a it's a, a totally understandable question." So it's fine, you know, so whatever, you know, it's something there. There's kind of an energy to if there's something rising to be said or asked, there's, it's an energetic yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, it was the, uh, I'm, I'm wrestling with. As I have done for a while, the. So I've been like a practitioner of meditation and stuff like that for, for a long time. And I, I, Appar- apparently, apparently, yeah, but there's a. And then the absence of a person 
what my my question comes is when when that happens apparently exper does experience still like happen around a center no there's no center there's no experience even experiences require someone to have the experience so if there's kicking a ball around with 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 kids and playing a game of soccer um the difference would be someone feels that they're doing that and that they're kicking the ball and that they're they're there and have an experience of it then which they kind of file as an experience either special if it's kind of special it'll be filed if it's not it might be not remembered and then the difference then is there's no difference because it's just playing soccer but there's no sense of someone to record it as an experience because there's nobody that feels separate to it that's doing it okay so there's just what appears to happen then so there's just playing soccer so yeah. it's the exact it's the same and it's completely indescribably different as well but the, the actual soccer yeah there's a, there's a sense of like a locality isn't there like a foot kicking is close to it's you just closer to you than a a shed yeah. at the end of the drive. yeah uh, that's uh, the, the, the so the ball comes and it's kicked and these are what happens so that's then what happened this is what happens this is this is what happens right so there's kicking a ball and there's running and there's passing the ball then the person who feels really real has this sense of of, of them doing it so they're continually adding themselves to it so i kicked the ball there's a really lived sense of i did that and i made the choice to pass it to him or i made the choice to say this to them guys if you don't stop roaring and shouting we're gonna <laughs> you're not gonna play soccer with you anymore because you're driving me mad uh whatever because uh, i'm just thinking of playing with my kids and it can go <laughs> pear-shaped very easily so that's how um it, it, the, the person is adding themselves to everything yeah. and the person then tries to understand that but they can't understand that because understanding is just the loop of the person yeah. But that's essentially well, what's happening is you're 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 adding yourself or you're being added to it. It's not that you're adding yourself. Do you know what I mean? But there's that sense of being uh, added to it and being the being the managing director and controller and CEO of you. And you're doing all of that. Now, sometimes that's not there then. Um, even, sometimes you're not even added to it. And after, if there if that's noticed, that's an awakening. If it's not noticed, it's just not noticed. So there can be playing soccer and there's no sense of me playing soccer or a lot of the creative endeavors are, are like that or sometimes the sporting ones where you just there's just running or there's just playing soccer, there's just swimming. And then people they resonate with that in some way that I don't know what it is about it, but there's something for me. I just love it so much. And it's because they don't really feel they're doing that sometimes, but they wouldn't even think about that much. Um for some for some yeah no that 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 sense of like the absence of being there but flow just happening yeah i, I can connect with that 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 that's helpful there's one more bit if i can ask of course yeah you're not asking anything <laughs> well i'm throwing it out there um the the appearances for now, or what's like in front of your computer screen, people's faces and all that sort of thing. But the appearances of unbounded life can endlessly change, can't they? And become oh. more like, I'm thinking about our transition when we move from being this physical, so-called physical experience in appearance like this, to appearances just continuing on lots of different more subtle levels just appearances still but just on just amazingly on made of different i don't know just different appearances yeah it's a play, it's just a play of light so yeah. uh, the the play of light is dinosauring and the play of light is humaning yeah. and it's all a play of light it's all completely unknowable ungraspable um does not need to be understood or have any kind of meaning in it is just one that we overlay onto it but it's yeah. an and it's incredible play. then like i mean the adventure is it's stunning when you're no longer there but there's nobody there to experience it but it's stunning and it's full and it's boundless again 
when it's unknowable and you're you're you don't feel like you're there wanting to know it and whatever but it's also extremely ordinary it's so ordinary because it is already already the case that it's just a a bird flies by the window and a you know a, get a tingle in your leg and there's a thought arises and it's just whatever appears like aliveness itself is just the treasure then as opposed to some treasure in it has been has been said by quite a few people so um yeah that's that's uh, yeah, I, I like that word i've always liked that word aliveness it, yeah it, that tickles me in a way the last thing i wanted to explore was that that aliveness can you describe because often you mention love which really like that's something that that seems to really interest me so this aliveness can you just talk about how it links with love or what the experience is around love or... uh, well it, love when it's experienced is a different kind of love love as an experience is a meeting of needs and a, a filling of needs and it's there's nothing right or wrong with that but that's fine that's interpersonal um functional um when I mean, the love it... that's spoken about is unknowable and uh ungraspable unconditional love which is totally beyond understanding. So I can't describe it actually. And mm. every word that's used to describe it is completely inadequate. Uh, as and, and unconditional love is an inadequate term also. But it seems to be one that sometimes is used to point to what appears to be, which is what they, just simply aliveness or energy already. Do sometimes, kind of some of, some of the appearances or, or generate a deeper experience of love or is that a consistent thing um there there's there is kind of there can be flavors of it in a sense of um uh, mad mad a uh, mad love for what feels like another like a collapse of boundaries and a just complete madness of love that's a flavor of it yeah and hints of it but usually then that's just kind of a taste of that and then the me comes in trying to um own that and know it and then the gains are all going on and and whatever but that which is also just energy as well yeah so there's nothing that isn't it but the difficulty about it is then all the nasty stuff then so people then say well th you're saying that's love you know murder all of these things and even horrendous horrendous stuff so that's love and that's not what i mean when i say that because all the person then does is just flip the opposites so you're saying this good thing is actually sorry this bad thing is actually good and no i'm not that's not what i'm saying at all but good and good and uh, bad are in the story and when the story of you collapses everything collapses and everything just is as it is including all the really um uncomfortable and you know there the, that that's all a play of light that's the richness then the explosive uh unknowable richness of everything is that it's everything it's everything it's complete pain it's utter discomfort as well as comfort and pleasure and whatever and then it's just to it's indescribable there's nothing that can appear to happen that isn't just that because all there is is that whereas so as opposed to the dualistic game of being a person who's uh, you know, there's the natural mechanism, uh, the inherent mechanism of kind of avoiding or survival, you know, avoiding pain uh, and all of that. But then that's hijacked by the person, the individual. And then that's just ramped up to this sense of just continually pulling in pleasure and pushing away pain so, in a kind so, of in a half alive reality then. Yeah. So that description pain appears. Yeah. But love still shines regardless pain, pain of whether is, it's pain, pain or pain is love mm. so the, the, when i say unconditional love i mean it's whatever appears to be so that is pain Do you know it's not as this there's pain and there's other thing called unconditional love see and that's where the difficulty is the person kind of tries to th objectivizes it and think oh you're saying about and then they try and with this thing called unconditional love how can i know that or something well then then that's you being separate trying to know something else and objectivizing something else and that that's the whole way the person functions 
and it's actually all completely unknowable. This is just totally immediately just nothing and being everything. But the, for the person, there's a sense of being separate to it. So it's happening in time and space. And then in that sense, there, there's an abstraction of knowing, knowing me and knowing the world. And all of that is an, an empty loop, which feels very, it feels absolutely real. And there's a sense of in that sense of knowing is the familiarity of, uh, of, of the repetition of knowing knowing my house knowing my partner knowing my this knowing this person this person this person this person i know all of this because knowing all of it keeps me safe in the bubble of me but somewhere in that i it's sensed that i'm it's not being seen as it actually is and the reason it's not being seen is because it's unknowable and there's no you that knows it and then that's the, that everything then is um new then when there's no you and there but there is already no you like that's um that's at the the heart of what's being suggested here this morning is there's nobody here that's now listening to this that isn't already just simply nothing being everything but they may feel like an individual and that's just an artificial energetic overlay okay that is but but bewilderingly boundless <laughs> some of that description it's but but in a good way so I, it's just the yeah. it's just the resonance you know you're you're apparently speaking i'm apparently speaking there's no you there's no me it's all from nothing and it just read there's a resonance to what was said there by nobody and that's it then it's not that you're going to go away and somehow you know, maybe if I put this up on YouTube, who knows with Kenneth, like it could sit there for fucking five months uh, or it could go up this afternoon. But I mean, there's no, you no, know, the sense of the person kind of feels, oh, that was a, something about that conversation. And I can maybe listen to it again and know it. it's not graspable at all. And that's the incredible thing is nothing needs to be held on to at all. I, I, that I felt that because the person then suddenly jumps on and claims it. I yeah. have that experience. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And I want to get that back. I want to know it and I want to integrate it into who I am. Yeah. And that's the way the person kind of functions. That's how the person like any any I was gonna say normal talk, but <laughs> any usual talk is the person to have their eye, their pad out and to be taking notes. And like, what is what is what can I take from this? What can I take from this? Because that's the loop of knowing. And Seriously, there's nothing man. on offer here. It's stunning. No, you're pulling us into the flow. I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm not. Is the other thing is that no, not you. Yeah, so there's whatever just this is. there's already just the flow, if you want to put it that way. But it's just an illumination, then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting the impression that if we go in, we're in. You know, we're washed well, off. Well, well, you're not. You see, you can't. You're not going in. Because there's already nowhere in. to get it. You, you are. That's that's already. You are already. In. The sense of, you see, the person has it. There's a huge fear around what's being said here today, and it's the fear of the same fear of death, which is really when you boil down to it, boil it down, um, a fear of your absence. That's what it is. So when the person hears this, they kind of um, and generally this is what happens with what. Say, let's take the term oneness, right? Um, what happens with that term is uh, in in under spirituality and all this, there is this thing called oneness. There's oneness and you're kind of in two-ness. But I can show you how to in duality. I can show you how to step get into oneness. A fundamentally ignorant teaching. That's what it is, and which can only keep you, uh, you know, serve to feed that sense of separation. And the person has a sense that, as you said, they're getting into something. The person has a sense that, oh, God, this is resonant. I could almost fall into this. <laughs> but there's a danger in that, that I might not come out again. Which is lovely when you think about it. Like it's like there's this thing called oneness that I could go into, but I might not come out again. Which just it hits on that sense of um, confrontation and and. Uh, worry that the person has of losing themselves and what's being shared is there's no self to lose you're already not there because there's only oneness already that's all there is this is oneness saying there's only oneness already 
if you want to use that word it's not a very you know it can it can be a very confusing word but there's wholeness nothing being everything whatever uh, and that's why in the same way then that's why you'll hear from people say i don't feel like a person anymore but nothing happened of course nothing happened <laughs> because the sense of you being a person was only a, a dream anyway so it's not a, a happening i think through over time and i've been like connected with you for a while quite a while i noticed less fear actually about that yeah less tightness about it that's all yeah yeah that's the way it can be yeah with it with kind of resonates and it just just the obviousness of it can just start to become more pronounced like and the obviousness that there's not actually a kenneth only there's a kenneth character but there's not someone who knows something that I, I, I that i don't know there's not someone called kenneth who has something that i don't have there's not even a zoom meeting really you know and that can just be when that's obvious it's just it's game over really it's just so obvious that there's just a play of whatever appears to be that's why you'd hear there's people and they never come back to these zooms or have any because what what's there to come back to then some delight in the communication and whatever and that's what appears to happen um yeah yeah <laughs> thank you kenneth thanks thanks lee nice to speak to you nice nice to chat thank you Kenneth. Oh yeah. Hi. It's oh Laura. hi, Laura. Um. So, um, I, sometimes other speakers say that, um, for example, the body is not real. So you can, you would also could say the brain is not real. Yeah, I mean the brain. There is no body brain really. Like there's just it's all one functioning. You know, to to separate the body and brain is very um silly, really. Um, it okay. well it's it's a it's it's an artificial boundary you know to separate body brain mm -hmm. um there is no boundary really but um i pref i think of the human being as an organism with the, uh, one you know one organism that's bound by the skin and every, you know it has it's incredible just stunning the 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 functional um it's just amazing 
uh, appearance of it. It's just absolutely beyond words. You know, this emotions, sensations, smells, everything that pours through the senses through this vessel, if you want to call it that. Um, so it's real and unreal, really. You know, like time is real and unreal. Everything is real and unreal. But the person lives in the real. So uh, that's what's being shared, really. Everything is nothing and nothing is everything. So the per but the difficulty is the person feels absolutely real. It's a half alive thing. They think they are the body. Yeah, they think that they're in the body. So there's not just seeing there's me seeing there's not just uh, uh, sounds. There's me hearing the sound and there's me making the sound if I am and so on, so on, so on. So that's the uh, so therefore they have they feel they have they have it there's life and they have a life and that they have that life to lose that they will eventually lose that life mm. and all of that is a neur neur neurotic um energy that's completely um empty it's yeah. based on a it's all based on a contracted sense of being a real separate person which is artificial uh, yeah like and things being real and unreal is it actually really you know, it's be completely beyond the mind when you think it, when you think about it, like if it's real and unreal, that is com yeah, not yeah. understandable in any yeah, way, yeah. shape or form. Yes. Whereas yeah. some people and, and a lot of religions, too, they would say in spiritual things, say everything that seems real is actually um, illusory or empty. So they're what they do is it's still within the dualism. So the, so all of that is just nothing. It's just there is only nothing. So they've kind of just flipped the opposites around in a, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So so and um, when like like this knowing thing, I I feel it is it is something in the brain. I I honestly feel that it is something like a brain mechanics that is like abstra self abstracting an idea. Oh of, yeah. Yeah. That 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 there is something they it's it's a it here it appears as if this is like a such a tight tight how do they say that tight self abstracting thing like mm. it's, yeah and yeah it's largely like, it's run out of the brain point. it's there's there, there is i can't think off the top of my head i used to kind of have some of that know exactly that the part of the brain that it's that kind of the um is it the amygdala i can't remember it doesn't really matter and you get a quick google search and you'll find out but it's a there is a part of the brain that is for it is very central to kind of this sense of who you are yes you know? um but like to say then it's just an idea or it's just in the brain is uh, for me not very accurate because there is no brain body barrier really only mm -hmm. apparently and it's so it's it's a cellular contraction also it's a whole it's an embodied sense of of feeling like a separate person mm. yeah like that's why psilocybin at the moment is quite popular and psychedelics because they they appear to um they appear to have some effect on the the part of the brain that kind of drops the sense of me so it's a very common experience for people to do it and say that they're just everything and this sense this idea i had of myself is completely empty do you know and that's why there's a lot of research into it for things like depression and different things and some mental health uh, things where people have such a solidified reality of that this is the way life is and then even one experience on that and it's got oh that's not the way life is yeah um, but when it comes to this communication the difficulty then is people are li link up the two. So there's even conferences about it, um, psychedelics and non-duality. And it's logical, completely logical that they would do that. But the difficulty is there's nobody who's doing it. Mm -hmm. And if someone feels they're doing it, they collect the experience on the other side. So they feel they've done something. They feel, oh, there was only light and energy. And now they have that experience then. And then they feel they can do it again and again. And then logically, they feel they can do it enough times that the, the, the me will fall away. So that's the trap of all of that, because there is no me that will fall away. Yeah. And you're not doing any of it in the first place. Mm. But um, 
Yeah, I, I, it's amazing because I'm, 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 I'm apparently listening to what you share right now and there is something in my head that has somehow a very different conviction and it's so deeply ingrained and it just refu it, it's immediately immediately it does not want to hear it it's like it just oh laura are you serious it. you do not agree with what i'm saying <laughs> i mean you you need to leave the meeting i'm sorry <laughs> no, it, no people here need to agree with me 100 percent. because if you don't there's a door you know where there, there no no dissenters allowed here <laughs> okay thanks yeah no i mean that's what's happening then there's a sense of um uh, but i don't want it even it's just happening it doesn't right matter now. it doesn't matter what you want that's the <laughs> that's the incredible thing what you want is irrelevant because <laughs> it's totally irrelevant because you're not there the you the you that wants is a, is a illusory mm -hmm. so the person thinks that what's being looked for is to do with them yeah. it's something to do with me and the 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 beautiful thing is it's nothing to do with you whatsoever. So that people got quite shocked by that, really, because everything in their what in what they feel is their lives is something to do with what they think, what they know, how they are, how they aren't, how they are to other people, blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah. and the amazing thing is nothing to do with any of that at all, because that's all a story. Mm. So there's thoughts arise and there could be a thought of, well, I, I think, you know, the common one is often, uh, well, there's loads of common ones, but one of them is, where's the confirmation of what you're saying? I want confirmation of this. I want, like, who else is saying it? Who we got? And that's to do with a sense of authority too. Like uh, people should, you know, I want this to be confirmed in other places and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. lovely. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because this, this used, like this usual sense of something is real wants to put itself onto that as well then yeah because yeah. when it's confirmed then it feels real again or whatever oh uh, yeah there's a but yeah. the, and there's a really lived sense of there's an authority that knows so when they can confirm it like that's the person is waiting to be con everything could be confirmed by the you know them or, or they the most powerful organization in the world they <laughs> they they say they say this and they say that and they say the other did you ever notice that everyone refers to them nobody's yeah. met them but they're very powerful apparently <laughs> but and then there's that sense of having it confirmed then it has to be confirmed and that's the way people are and that if you see the world as it is at the moment or appears to be at the moment there is that huge majority kind of um hanging on the word of the authority and saying, well, OK, they're they're saying that this is the way it is. This is the way it is mm. and not being and, and deeming anything else alternative to that as disinformation, misinformation, whatever. And it's a it's an information war that's happening, really. But yes. all of that, what's being shared here is all of that sense of there being an authority is actually to do with the sense of you being you. Mm -hmm. And when that apparently collapses, there's clearly no authority, any higher anything. There's just yeah. energy. Nobody has any authority, really, only in the story. Yeah. And what is it? Um, can I ask another question or is it like? No, much? you've used up your it's too much now, Laura. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> have some respect, will you? You know, you're coming on here and you just boom, boom, boom. Just. Uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> you're not asking questions. <laughs> OK, um, <laughs> thanks. Um, <laughs> thanks, well, I, I thanks, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and there is something what comes to mind because you were mentioned what's going on. So 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 my uh, um I fear that that like when people are isolated, then they are like the mind is like completely like in its own bubble, so to speak, and there is no no how do you say that differentiation happening anymore so it's like this absolutism of the own 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 mind or own thought and that is somehow then ruling their reality in a way and that is quite quite 
not healthy i just feel i i just feel it's not healthy and then this constant constant narrative which you mentioned is then auditionally put on through media or whatever and then it's like yeah yeah well the story the person is a story so nowadays that story is fed in different ways than it was a few decades ago or a decade ago yeah. even so that, that that is is um it's everything has changed completely because there's a sense now of a there's the constant companion model which is the constant companion is your mobile phone which which is your reality then which is fed yeah. through algorithms and people think that the algorithms are all random totally random mm -hmm. and that's if you then then there's a realization it can be seen that they are that that's all to do with the narrative and those apparently feeding the algorithm and blah 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 but mm -hmm. that's that that the, the the individual now um has is that is has that aspect to it of being able to kind of feed uninterrupted on just a reality that they take to be reality and they don't have to tolerate other realities really because yeah. they can just you know i don't have to look at the, all that website or this or this kind of stuff um because i can just be fed this new stream and this one and yeah. then and i'm in my bubble so in my bubble feel safe and the person is continually trying to feel safe in a world that they feel is outside of them so that's what appears to play out then yeah. and i think we said it in the last um it probably was the sunday we were talking a little bit about that sense of how the lockdowns came along and it was quite remarkable that a lot of people remarked how they noticed how people didn't want to come out of lockdown yeah. and they just could not understand it i mean it's stunning how do you not want to come out what like yeah what i did it was bamboozling why would you yeah. but they're, they're not that it was bamboozling they had all sorts of uh, observations on it and uh, very insightful most the ones i listened to also but then i would just say to that that really that's the sense that's the bubble of me oh. so when the bubble of me is nice and safe yeah. doesn't have to deal with as with has to deal with much less alternatives or the tolerance goes down hugely and i'm so safe then in this bubble of me yeah. I'm working from home. I don't have to do all of this. And then that's, you know, obviously then they had loads of commentators saying how dangerous that is then because you're just in a complete world of your own in uh, half alive. But you don't see that at the time because you feel safe. But that's all the sense of the person, the person, the individual, the apparent individual is a bubble of me that tries to. Uh, whole its whole purpose is to maintain itself and keep it and protect itself from a world out there and it does so by knowing through knowing and everything then becomes familiar and they live in that repetitive familiar reality in which they remain that they, they remain themselves and um keep themselves yes. safe yes yes and then there is this 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 apparent um idea of being able to control like controlling that whole safety space oh yeah way. yeah there's more yeah. of a the more contracted it is and the more uh, the more you are in control then because there's less variables then so yeah uh, yeah totally yeah and that that sense of control is just an aspect of that mm. of feeling like a person there's no control whatsoever yeah at so all I, it's I, all I, a story that you have control yeah it's beyond conceptual thinking in a way well it's totally it, it is what's yearned for is completely beyond like yeah. you live in the linear mm -hmm. and the known and the in time and what's yearned for is actually infinite and uh, eternal <laughs> you know it's uh, that's all artificial that sense of you moving through life in a linear sequential way it seems it appears absolutely real and it's real in its appearance hmm. and and then it, it there, there's something in it then there's an invitation to see that it's completely empty always hmm. and the emptiness then is boom full and it's all a play of light then yeah and it sounds a bit as if there is an event that has to happen it's so funny yeah. immediately it's understood 
like yeah. oh there has to be an event well, and oh yeah that doesn't event. even happen what yeah. i described there doesn't even happen because i it's been dis the, the words are used in a way that people communicate and this is the these are the terms that are used but when that sense of being a person just isn't there it's seen that nothing happened because this is nothing appearing to happen and that sense of being a me was only a story to begin with that's why what you yearn for excuse me that's why what you yearn for is simply already the case it's just speaking sitting it's whatever is appearing to happen already which is amazing which is an amazing way to hide i just love that i love that what's yearned for is hiding but already being everything that is pure genius to me you know you see that reflected in life anyway things the o o things being in the open yeah that is something i really don't understand at all whenever you say oh it's hiding by already being everything then there is just it's, it's appearing just... to hide yeah yeah but it doesn't matter like i mean none of this like someone could be seeming to listen to what's said here and not not understand any of what's said but yet that sense of being a person could just apparently fall away understanding is irrelevant it's amazing <laughs> thanks always thanks laura I don't know. it's amazing to talk with you really. oh <laughs> Just just limit your questions next time. You were just a bit, you know, went a bit far this time now. I'll do a signal. I'll say, I'm only teasing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Laura, Laura. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful, unknowable, boundless communication. There's nobody speaking. There's nobody asking questions. There's nobody answering them. Only in the story. Or you could say there is and there isn't. You know, if you want it, there's someone, but it's, 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 it's an appearance. It's an all in appearance. Everything is an appearance. It's appearing to happen. It's nothing being everything, everything being nothing. It's completely unknowable, unattainable and boundless. Thanks guys. Beautiful meeting. Apparently. Um, Thanks. Oh, Rika says, uh, what do you mean by the character? When I say character, I say, I kind of mean just the s the flavor of someone uh, as opposed to the person, the persona. Here you go. There's a link there in chat. Uh, if you want to contribute, thanks very much. And I'll speak to you soon. Thank you, Kenneth. Thanks. Thank thanks. you. Thanks, Thank Maureen. You. Thanks. Bye-bye. Guys, bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.